Have you ever heard of a suite of trading applications where you can basically buy something low, sell it high, and then it automatically buys it a little bit lower, buy, 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 and then sells it higher? Well, you can do this with Thor. So I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown with all the ins and outs on Thor. Starting here at Twitter, this is their new Twitter. It's just called Tap, Tap Fintech. And Thor is their main product here. Now this is from the Cyberfrogs team and they're currently working on having the NFT project, which is this, and then Tap as a separate thing. I hadn't heard about it until I saw Knox Trades and a few other people starting to talk about it. And then I did a little bit of research, I chatted to the team, and I'm pretty excited for this. So let's jump into it. Just go to the link tree at Cyberfrogs for now, although things are changing, and then click on Auto Thor. The website is going through a bit of a refresh, but I wanna get you in and show you now. Then we can click on Select Wallet, and then of course, Connect Our Wallet. Before we do though, I do want to suggest that you use different wallets for different things. I always mention this, of course. And in this particular wallet, I have a Degenerate Ape. Because if you have a Degenerate Ape, either an OG or a V2, you actually get a discount on the fees. So I'm going to connect with this wallet, which has one Ape. And of course, if you're using a Ledger, you can still connect with a Ledger. We'll continue and we'll just go ahead and connect. And now this is Thor V3. So how it basically works is we deposit USDC it remains locked for 90 days, and then it goes into an investment strategy. So at the moment, a lot of that is in BSOL and MSOL, therefore that's getting that approximate 6% per year. However, some remains in SOL and USDC, and then what essentially happens is there's different times when you get buys and sells. So buy, 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 there's a sell, 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 and so on, and some buy, 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 buys, a sell here and a buy and a buy. And this is all available on chain and I'll post the contract below. If you scroll on down further, you can see the recent trades. So we've got some buys and some sells and essentially the goal is to accumulate more soul and of course to make a profit. So this is what we can see as the contract. So there's about $2.2 million in that contract with some of it being USDC, some SOL, some MSOL and some BSOL. And I've already chatted to the team in case you look at this and you just, the UI is not perfect. I can understand that viewpoint for sure. Essentially the dev behind this is an absolute gun. He's built this software and it's far more of a back-end integration. He's been working on it for 15 years. It's been tried and tested and it, it's very, very good. But the website is going through that refresh that I mentioned. So here we can see, this is in the last 90 days, the current performance. So from this date to this date, we've got this current performance of 248%. Of course, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the price of sold goes up. Essentially, this is kind of like a hedge fund. The goal is to protect your bags, to add value to them, and so on. This is the volume of the trades and the average user profit and loss. So because I have a DGN Ape in my wallet, my tax on profit, so the fee I pay, is 16%. If you don't have any NFTs, it's 20%. If you have a Cyberfrog, it's 15%. However, this is just a tax on your profits. So if you make $100, then you lose 16% that goes to the team. There's also a deposit fee of 120 Kira. I don't know a lot about the Kira token. This is part of the Cyberfrogs collection, but essentially this fee is then burnt. However, you can also just go with USD. So I've got $150 that I wanna put into this, and I will of course agree to the terms of service. My deposit fee will be in USDC, and I'll open a position here, and this is a USDC that will go out of my wallet. It's this amount plus $5, and then there's also this amount in Seoul. So we'll click on confirm. So that's gone through, I've refreshed my page and we can see my initial USDC is right here. So this is the USD value and that is made up of this amount of Seoul and this amount of USDC. Now at the moment, there's a, a small amount of tax on profit as I'm slightly ahead in profitability for some reason. However, this will go through numerous trades in particular ways and then this will grow and grow, ideally. Now, of course, nothing is financial advice and it never will be. This is not guaranteed to outperform the market. However, it has got a pretty decent success rate. If you look over on the left-hand side, you can see contract locked. So you cannot withdraw your funds for 90 days. At the end of 90 days, you can withdraw them or within 48 hours, it will just be airdropped back into your wallet. Alternatively, if you wanna add more to this position, 
as an example, if we had another 100 or 1000 USDC, we could go ahead and we could add that. We would just have to pay the extra 5 USDC or Kira if we have that token. And then this would be added to this particular contract. So the contract locked would still remain 90 days. As an example, it's 89 days right now. If it came down to 70 days and then we added another thousand dollars, this would then continue to be 70 days. And at the end of 70 days, we could withdraw our funds. Now the benefits of this are simple. A lot of people are too busy to trade or they don't know how to trade or they're too impatient. So what this is doing is it's just following very specific algorithms and trading ideas. And then we've got all these buys here and then sell, sell, sell on that rise, sell, 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 and then buy as it dips. And then we've got a nice sell right here, right before a bit of a crash, and then it's boarded up again. You're probably of the belief, like I am, that the price of sold is gonna go much higher, 500, 800, $1,000 in this cycle. So if you, with an allocation of funds, not like your whole bag or anything like that, but with an allocation of your funds, you may wanna try and accumulate more soul based on this strategy. If you wanna learn more, you can go ahead and read this thread here or join their Discord for more answers as well. And I think the common thing that you're gonna be asked is, is it safe? So they're registered with a legal firm here, Haynes Boone. So if they ever did take your funds, then well, you'd know who their lawyer is. That's one thing. They've been operating for quite some time. Now, of course, the thing is simple. They'll make more money if they actually produce an actual on-chain crypto hedge fund that has hundreds of millions of dollars assets under management. So that is the plan. They're also working on making it simple enough that a Web2 person can kind of come in, allocate some funds, and that's all they have to worry about. The last thing I wanna show you is what actually happened with the transaction when we deposited the USDC and Sol. So we'll go in here and we'll have a click here at this app interaction and view on Sol Scan, and let's see this actual interaction. So here, $5 fee, we know about that, almost $30 USDC and 1.17 Sol. All of this went into the DAP. What we wanna look for is simple. Was there any delegations in the instructions. So I've covered this before, but just control F, Apple F, Delhi, just, just short for delegate. If you can see a delegation in any of the instructions, then that's something you don't wanna see because it means maybe there was a transaction there that's giving them permission in the future to take your DGN Ape or other assets. In this case, it's a simple, simple transaction. The only risk that you've actually opened yourself up to is if you deposit these funds, and then they're mistraded and you can't get them all back because you know there aren't as many there, or if for some reason the team were to take them, which is highly unlikely in my opinion. Now, of course, if you don't wanna connect your ledger to this, that's completely understandable. Remember, you can create multiple addresses within your ledger. You can move one DGN ape, either a V1 or V2, into the actual wallet and get that discount on the fees as well. The final thing I wanna mention is the tax on the profit. So this USDC value is 150. Let's say this climbs to $250. Then of course that profit is $100, meaning your tax on profit would be $16 and then you would get $84. Also, if you wanna keep up this contract, normally there's a button right here which says renew or renewal. You can click on that and then this will just reset the contract lock date from 89 days or 10 or 20 or whatever the remaining days are it will just start again at 90 days and it'll keep everything in the system earning away. Also, at the end of the contract, the current SOL amount and the current USDC amount can be very, very different. Maybe you're withdrawing $10 of USDC and a bit more SOL. When you withdraw that, whatever this shows at the end, that's what you'll get or that's what you'll be airdropped back to your wallet. The SOL will be dropped back into your wallet as wrapped SOL which you can just unwrap in your Solana Phantom Wallet. So that's a Thor automated protocol, tap. Give it a go, let me know what you think in the comments. And remember, if you have a DJ Nape, make sure you're getting those 16% fees. It must be in the same wallet that you're using to deposit your funds. That's all for this tutorial, we'll catch you in the next video.